Here's an explanation to an interesting problem regarding isosceles triangles. So find the size of angle B down here. If AC equals AP equals PQ equals QB and AB equals BC. So we've got a lot of isosceles triangles here. One, two, three to look at. All different sizes, but all isosceles. Also the big triangles isosceles. Let's start with X down here. That's what we're looking for which means this is x because PQB is isosceles. This is 2x because it's exterior to triangle PQB. This is 2x because PAQ is isosceles. This triangle here, PAB, has an exterior angle here at CPA. You see it? That's the sum of 2x and x, so we can call it 3x. Now, this PCA over here is isosceles, which means that this is also 3x. And don't forget that the big triangle is isosceles, so these green angles are equal, making this little bit right here have to be equal to x, so that these are both 3x. That means that I've got in triangle ABC three angles, 3x, 3x, and x sums to 180, and that means x is 180 over 7, which is the size of angle B.